sky when a clear night, you should do it because you will see the Qudrat of Allah and you will appreciate it. So they were watching up and to the sky and Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said to Aisha, O oh Aisha, radiallahu anha, look at the extent of stars in the sky and look how beautiful they look. She said, yes, ya Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, there are numerous stars in the sky. Nabi alayhi salatu wasalam asked, do you know who is that fortunate person whose good deeds is equivalent to the amount of stars in the sky? Can you count the twinkling stars? You can never count how many stars are there in the Milky Way. Furthermore, there are many stars that do not twinkle that are in such heights beyond the vision of the naked eye and also beyond the vision of a man-made apparatus to try and find it. You can't see it. Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is including all those stars. Those are visible and those who are not visible, not necessary that every star is white in color and light. There are some stars that are known as the black stars. They don't give up light, but they exist. If you look at uh, uh, astronomy and you study the manuals of astronomy, they speak about the black star. The black star has got no light. It's very difficult to detect it. The Nabi Ali Salatu Salam is including them all. Those that you can see, those that you can't see, right? Those that are white and those that are black, all are included. Do you know of that person whose deeds are equivalent to the number of stars in the sky? See that question. Meaning, the Sayyidina Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa number one, knows exact amount of stars in the sky. The extent of his knowledge. And Nabi doesn't lie. Nabi taught you that the curse of Allah is on a liar. And the Nabi will never lie. Why he will not lie is because he is divinely protected from any sin by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala therefore he is known as a sinless prophet and in Arabic classical terms you call him a ma'asum ma'asum is he who is protected from all sins now if a general prophet is protected from all sins can you know what can you imagine what is the extent of the protection that was received by the master of prophets Sayyidina Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam the most beloved of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so his protection is even more intensified right because the concentration of divine grace on him is much more than the concentration of divine grace on any other prophet that makes him unique okay he says I know do you know he asked, do you know who is that fortunate person whose deeds are equivalent to the number of stars in the sky? So the Prophet والسلام, knew how many stars exactly without uh, you know, difference of a fraction, exact amount he knew how many stars are there in the Milky Way. Why should he not know? Why should he not know? Because the stars are also created from his light. Everything that you create, you must know it. And everything that is created in front of you or made in front of you, you must know. Right? And now, that is one point. Second point, how many millions of human beings are living on earth? At the time of the Nabi alayhi salatu wasalam, there were millions. Right? There's not one person, two person, or only the Quraysh, or only the Sahaba, only the Muslim, the Muhajireen and the Ansar in Medina Munawwara, or Makkah Mukarramah. There were millions of Muslim, uh, human beings. Now, the extent of the knowledge of the Nabi alayhi salatu wasalam is such that he knows who is that individual whose good deeds are equivalent to the amount of stars in the sky. 
From millions he knows that one individual. He asked Sayyidah Aisha, do you know? The Sayyidah Aisha Siddiqa radiallahu ta'ala anha, knowing how close her father Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq was to the Nabi alayhi salatu was salam, he said, she said, Ya Rasulallah, uh, maybe my father. She says, no. He knows, he says, no. That fortunate person is Umar. Amir al Mu'minin said that Umar radiallahu ta'ala, Nabi alayhi salatu salam knew how much of good deeds, what type of good deeds, where did Sayyidina Umar commit the good deeds, and what is the sawab of all his deeds? In the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that is giving you uh, a comparison to the amount of stars in the sky. This one example of the vision of Sayyidina Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam. Inshallah ta'ala, I will elaborate on this because time is uh, of essence and uh, I will not be able to give you more details in it. We will discuss this hadith on the, on the Milky Way and the stars and what the Nabi alayhi salatu wasalam had said uh, in, our, in our coming Juma, if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us tawfiq and hidayah inshallah ta'ala. And uh, uh, please remember, I am going to give you some very important points that are what you to make note of. You must make note of this in your mind and if you have a piece of paper or have a book, you make notes on these. And then you read it over and over to refurbish and refresh in your mind about the extent of knowledge and the excellence of the person and personality of your beloved Nabi Sayyidina Mawlana Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and teach these things, these points, teach them to your family, teach them to your wife and your children and inshallah ta'ala they will benefit from it and strengthen the iman and love for the love, beloved Habib Sayyidina Mustafa Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala tamam musalmanun ko nek amal karne ki tawfiq ata farma farwadigare un humme jo bimar hai un ko shifai kamila ajila ata farma ilalam jo humme pareh پریشانی و پریشانی کو دور فرما مسلمان کے عالم میں اولاد میں کمائے میں دکان میں مکان میں تجارت میں برکتیں عطا فرما الہ العالمین ہم پر ہاں مسلمانوں کو ہر فرض ہر سنت واجبوں کو اپنے وقتوں پہ ادا کرنے کی توفیق عطا فرما نیک عمل کی توفیق عطا فرما علم صالح علم نافع عمل صالح عطا فرما اس دنیا سے جو چلے گئے ان کی مغفرت فرما واخر دعوانا الحمدللہ رب العالمین